So the first thing we're going to take a look at is um, uh, when you have a very slow performance, that's when you notice that the performance has uh, drastically reduced after the upgrade. You need to just go to your activity monitor. That's uh, like, actually you can restart your, you can restart your Mac first, but after that you can go to your activity monitor. <coughs> You can go to your activity monitor to see what's uh, taking your RAM and CPU. You can do that by just going to the uh, spotlight search and you search for activity monitor. What do we have here? You can see we have uh, this where you see your CPU, your memory, energy, uh, the disk and network just like um, your task manager in Windows. That's if you're someone that's from a Windows background. So let's see if you have uh, CPU memory now now under uh, memory you can see the applications the process the process name what's taking your memory and the ports it's using process ID and everything so let's see for we can stop something like uh, let's see uh, Google Drive for instance we can stop Google Drive or Google Chrome helper if by highlighting on it you can say you can quit or you force quit so let's quit so it it says ad block has uh, crashed so that's because we've closed that so it, it's you're, you're freeing more space for apps for processes that you don't uh, you don't need so like Siri I'm not using Siri right now so I can end I can stop Siri from taking my uh, CPU and uh, memory so next thing you can do is uh, to consider upgrading your RAM so you just want to uh, ensure that you don't you don't install any third-party application that's uh, promising to make your RAM or to make your Mac work faster so you can another thing is uh, you can this the third thing I have here is you can force quit any application that it's not responding directly from this this menu i mean so you go to uh, the apple logo if you click on that it's going to show you force quit so if i say force quit it means i can quit any of these applications if for any reason they are not uh, responding so when apps don't work sometimes users uh, complain that when they upgrade from um, their existing os to mac os sierra they have issues with uh, their applications not working properly as they should so let's see the first thing you can do is uh, to empty your cache emptying your cache means you go to this uh, directory the library directory where you can find caches and you clear them and we have um, that you delete all the files so the each the, the error usually that users get is apps are damaged and uh, can't be open or maybe app is damaged and can't be open so to do that you go to the go your go menu then you go to uh, go to folder and you specify the name of uh, this folder that's the cache library by go by typing in tilde forward slash library uh, slash cache if you hit on enter it's going to take you to your cache your cache directory your cache folder where you can see all the cache that your system has been uh, using so far so I did the, the the best thing for you to do is to clear everything here like you you need to clear everything move everything to trash and you empty you empty empty your empty your trash so um another tip that I have here is to um hold down the command plus uh, plus uh, option key when launching launching a faulty app that should that works for some users and you should give it a try to see if it works for you. You can also change the security and privacy settings uh, to allow app, app store apps and uh, apps from identified developers to be installed on your Mac. So you can just go to security and settings from your spotlight search. So we can say uh, security and privacy. If I open this security and privacy, it's going to give us um, the security options to say okay we want to install apps from app store only or we want to install apps from uh, 
had any identified developer so it's uh, going to launch and right now we can you can see mine is set to uh, allow apps downloaded from uh, app store and identified developers you can unlock your mac to make changes it's trying to authenticate you can unlock your mac to say okay um, you unlock and um, after unlocking you can decide what you want to do so you should let it install from other users as well then this uh, last thing is uh, to reset it resets your parameter ram and uh, to do that you can just simply uh, shut down your mac and that's like restarting then you turn it back on and you hold the uh, command plus option plus p and uh, r keys then the computer startup sound will play for the second time that is going to reset your parameter ram these are like uh, some tips the uh, I've, 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 I've tried on my MacBook and so far so good so if you have any that you think might be useful so just uh, drop it in the comments below and uh, remember to subscribe for more content like this one